What's up, Airsofters? Traditionally, modernizing the AK platform meant just swapping out furniture components like the handguard or stock to make platforms more accessory friendly. Handguards, dust covers, and stocks were really all you could do to bring a dated platform closer to the modern era. For all that capability, however, users were still left with a mostly steel construction and heavier weight system that still utilized dated and somewhat off the beaten path for the Western world controls and non-ambidextrous designs. There is something to be said for the AK-12 being a factory modernization of the AK design, but in some ways it still falls short for many modern platforms and many modern kind of manual of arms and, and use doctrines. Enter the AK Alpha, a fresh take on a classic system that utilizes modern build materials, weight saving strategies, accessory compatibility, adjustability, and a widely adopted set of ambidextrous controls. I will say, it certainly looks the part of a future-proof platform. In this video review of the SEMA AK Alpha AEG, we're going to take a look at the external features, internal components, and measure its real-world performance so that you know exactly what you're getting with this new electric airsoft replica. There are two available versions of the AK Alpha, a SEMA standard variant and a SEMA platinum variant. The main difference between the two versions is that the standard has an upper receiver made of high quality, durable polymer, whereas the platinum version makes use of a full metal upper receiver, more akin to the real world AK Alpha. When you pick up either of these models, the first thing you'll notice is just how lightweight they are. The weight savings is all in the high quality durable polymer that makes up most of the AK Alpha's construction. The metal parts shared between the two versions include the barrel and gas tube assembly, the trigger, body pins, the bolt, the charging handle arm, and the stock lockup components. Once again, the platinum version has the full metal upper receiver, which does add a little bit of weight, but it does lend a much more real realistic feel. The polymer handguard of both models has included Picatinny rails on the left and right for mounting accessories. Now the underside of the SEMA standard handguard has three removable panels, which on the real thing is meant to make room for accessories like a vertical grip or a purpose-built rail, like the one found on the platinum version of the AK Alpha. There's no word on whether this is going to come separately, but at the time of this filming, the only way to get it is to get the platinum. Along the top of the AK Alpha, there's a full length pick rail to which is attached a set of polymer backup iron sights that flip up and lock into position and are fully adjustable for windage and elevation. Personally, I don't find them all that attractive. And since you're probably gonna wanna run a red dot or a short dot or something really cool on this puppy, uh, I'm glad that these are removable. The adjustability and controls are really what modernizes the AK Alpha platform. The magazine release, while functionally similar to the standard AK platform, is designed so that you can use your trigger finger to release the magazine, as well as the Modern Doctrine paddle thumb release approach. The fire selector is a standard 180 degree sweep, which is found on just about all modern systems and is ambidextrous, making this platform fieldable for lefties and righties, especially when you consider the side swappable charging handle. The charging handle can be operated to give you access to this AEG's AK standard hop-up unit just under the dummy bolt. A quick note about the motor grip. It is integrated into the lower receiver, it being kind of like a you know one-piece polymer lower, which means that the grip isn't removable. It is, however, a similar angle to other AK platforms. It's comfortable. It does feel a little bit slimmer than a standard AK grip, if that makes sense. And I really like the uh, kind of the molded features and texturing on it. They look nice and provide plenty of grip. Continuing the tour of modern touches, we've got a multi-adjustable stock, capable of both adjusting the cheek riser as well as the length of pull. And it even folds, you know, because AK folding stocks are awesome. Now this is also where you'll find the double-sided QD sling mount points, which are a nice touch. And while we're back here, it's worth mentioning that the locking components are metal. And that's important because there is a distinct advantage of the metal locking components over other folding polymer stocks on the market. You can 
rest assured that this isn't gonna break on you or fail at some point. Despite being very similar to an AK, you're going to access your battery compartment a bit different than you would with kind of the older style of AKs. With the stock folded, you can access the battery compartment on the AK Alpha. Simply press this dummy screw and lift the cover up and away, revealing the battery wiring and the factory included Dean style connector. We found that a 1200 milliamp stick type 11.1 volt LiPo battery fits best. You can find those on our website. So all of those points we touched on, the materials, the handguard, the controls, the stock, all come together to bring this AK-based platform into the modern era in terms of looks and feel. But let's take this out on the range and see if it has a performance worthy of modern airsoft games. Underneath the AK Alpha's unique exterior is a familiar set of internal components, with some upgrades from the factory. The top of the V3 style gearbox is open near the back, allowing you to take out the spring guide and swap the spring without the need to disassemble the entire gearbox, which is pretty neat. You can also see some unique looking gears on the outside of the gearbox, which enable the ambidextrous fire selector. The main parts inside the gearbox are mostly compatible with V3 aftermarket components. The piston is polymer with a full rack of metal teeth, a thrust bearing, and a ported mushroom style piston head. This piston head corresponds with the shape of the cylinder head, which is aluminum with two O-rings. The nozzle is polymer with no O-ring, the cylinder is not ported, and the gears are standard 18 to 1 ratio. One unique component is the trigger mechanism, which actually uses optical sensors to detect the trigger pulls and count cycles based on the movement of the tappet plate. This is great to have out of the factory, but if you wanted a different trigger board MOSFET, aftermarket ones should drop right in. Last but not least, it's worth mentioning that the hop-up unit is metal and is a standard AK style unit. The motor is a standard short type motor that's held in the pistol grip. So. After taking a look at all of the external features, analyzing the internal components, and measuring its real-world performance, we think it's safe to say that the SEMA AK Alpha AEGs are truly fit for the modern era. If you've struggled with making the switch to the AK platform because it was missing features like ambi controls, or adjustability, or attachment space, what's your excuse now? The SEMA AK Alpha checks all the boxes, looks great, and above all, it's amazingly affordable. You can find this AK Alpha, the Platinum, the standard AK Alpha, and everything else you need for your airsoft game right here at evic.com. Thanks for watching.